National Military of Burkina Faso. The service branches of the armed forces include its Army, Air Force, National Gendarmerie and People's Militia. Being a landlocked country, Burkina Faso has no navy. In 1966 a military coup deposed the first president of Upper Volta, Maurice Yameogo, suspended the constitution, dissolved the National Assembly, and placed Lt. Col. Samuel Lamazena at the head of a government of senior army officers. The army remained in power for four years. On June 14, 1970, the Voltans ratified a new constitution that established a four-year transition period toward complete civilian rule. Lamazena remained in power throughout the 1970s as president of military or mixed civil military governments. After conflict over the 1970 constitution, a new constitution was written and approved in 1977, and Lamazena was re-elected by open elections in 1978. Lamazena's government faced problems with the country's traditionally powerful trade unions and on November 25, 1980, Colonel Said Serbo overthrew President Lamazena in a bloodless coup. Colonel Serbo established the Military Committee of Recovery for National Progress as the supreme governmental authority, thus eradicating the 1977 constitution. Colonel Serbo also encountered resistance from trade unions and was overthrown two years later on November 7, 1982, by Major Dr. Jean-Baptiste Wadrago and the Council of Popular Salvation. The CSP continued to ban political parties and organizations, yet promised a transition to civilian rule and a new constitution. Factional infighting developed between moderates and the CSP and radicals led by Captain Thomas Sankara, who was appointed Prime Minister in January 1983. The internal political struggle and Sankara's leftist rhetoric led to his arrest and subsequent efforts to bring about his release, directed by Captain Blaise Compaore. This release effort resulted in yet another military coup d'état on August 4, 1983. Compaore came to power in a 1987 coup that led to the death of Sankara. On February 15, 2011, soldiers mutinied in Ouagadougou over unpaid housing allowances. On April 18, 2011, it was reported that the mutiny had spread to Kaya after demonstrations in Po and Tenkodogo. On April 29, 2011, the army said the mutiny would end after Kampori promised to improve the military's housing, clothing and food allowances, though there were later protests by soldiers. After a coup by members of the Regiment of Presidential Security on September 16, 2015, army units marched on NYC to oppose the coup, resulting in the restoration of Burkina Faso's transitional government on September 23. 2015. Soldiers from Burkina Faso before deployment to an exercise in Mali The Army of Burkina Faso is a skeletonized force structure of some 5. 800 to 6,000 officers and men, augmented by a conscript force or people's militia of some 45,000 men and women. Unlike the police and security forces, the army and the people's militia are organized along Soviet-slash-Chinese models and precepts. The army is equipped with light-wheeled armored cars, some mounting cannon. The International Institute for Strategic Studies estimated in 2011-12 that Burkina Faso had 6,400 personnel in Marmée de Terre in three military regions. One tank battalion, five infantry regiments that may be under strength, and an airborne regiment. Artillery and engineer battalions are also listed. In recent years, the United States has begun providing military assistance and training to Burkina Faso's ground forces. It has trained three 750-man battalions for peace support operations in Darfur. During a recent UN inspection, a U.S. Department of Defense evaluation team found Burkina's Lafi battalion fit to deploy to Sudan. Using a small Department of Defense international military education and training budget, the U.S. Embassy has established English-language courses at Nlot military base, and has brought lot officers. To attend officer basic training courses in the U.S. The government of Burkina Faso has also accepted additional U.S. training assistance in counterterrorism tactics and humanitarian assistance. Burkina Faso has recently become a member of the Trans-Sahara Counterterrorism Partnership. Three years of increasingly frequent and deadly attacks, by various jihadist groups, prompted the replacement of the Army Chief of Staff, Sadu Umaru, appointed three years ago with the same mandate with General Moise Menoundou on January 6, 2019. There is a multinational training camp in Lumbila Department, staffed by Czech and Polish instructors. The roundel used by the Air Force The Air Force was founded in 1964 as the Escadrille de la République de Haute Volta or the Republic of Upper Volta Air Squadron, a subordinate unit of the Army. That year, a transient air support base was created with the assistance of the French Air Force. 
After acquiring an initial fleet of utility and transport aircraft, the squadron was attached to an inter-army support regiment. In 1970, the Escadrille was renamed the Force Aérienne de Haute Volta, or FUF, and in 1977 became an autonomous force. In October 1985, the Force Aérienne de Burkina Faso, or FAF, was officially inaugurated. The EHV was initially formed with two Douglas C-47 Skytrain and three MH.1521M Broussard aircraft. These were later followed by two Alouette 3SA.316B helicopters, used mostly for liaison purposes, one twin-engine Aero Commander 500 light utility aircraft. Two Hawker Siddeley HS.748 2A twin turboprop transport aircraft, and two NOR 262 twin turboprop transport aircraft. Two escadrilles or subformations were created, the Escadrille de Transport, and the Escadrille de Helicopteries. Later, the Escadrille d'Entrainment was added. All squadrons were initially based at Ouagadougou. In mid-1984, Libyan military aid brought eight Mikayan Gurevich MiG-21 jet fighters, along with two MiG-21 U combat trainer versions. These ex-Libyan Air Force MiG-21 fished fighters were based in Ouagadougou, although they were actually operated by the Libyan Air Force on loan by Libya, and were removed in 1985 without seeing combat. A single MiG-17F fresco that was also operated by the FAB did see combat service in the Agatur Strip War in 1985-86. In 1985, the FAB also acquired two ex-Soviet Mi-4 transport helicopters from an unknown supplier, followed by an additional two Mi-4s. The Mi-4s were operated by the FAB until the late 1980s, when they were taken out of service. Five Mi-817 transport helicopters were later added to the Escadrille helicopteries. While supervising the ceasefire after the Agatur Strip War, and FAB SA.316 B Alouette 3 crashed at County on January 14, 1986, leaving only one SA.316 B still in service with the Escadrille helicopteries. In 1986, the FAB formed a new unit, the Escadrille de Chasse. In mid-1986 6X Philippine Air Force SF.260 WP Warrior Arm Trainer slash Light Strike Aircraft were acquired from a dealer in Belgium, which offered the FAF a much simpler and less expensive alternative in tactical air support to the expensive MiGs. The Warriors were not only used for pilot training, but also as light strike aircraft, and a number of them were employed by the FAB's Escadrille de Chasse. Four additional SF.260 WPS were subsequently bought directly from Italy. The 6X Philippine SF.260 WP aircraft were taken out of service in 1993 and returned to their previous owner, although the four newly built SF.260 WP aircraft were retained in service, and stationed at Bobo Diolasso Air Base. Most of the other light aircraft acquired by the FAP in the 1970s and 1980s have also now been retired along with the Mi-4 helicopters, but some recent acquisitions have been made, including a Beechcraft King Air, a Piper PA-34 Seneca, a Seeper Robin light training aircraft, and a single-air tractor AT-802 aerial sprayer aircraft for spraying insecticides, purchased after the northern part of the country suffered heavy crop damage from a 2004 invasion of swarming locusts. In 2009, two Xenon gyroplane autogyros were purchased for use by police and security forces. In late 2005, the FAP acquired two Milmi-35 hind attack helicopters from Russia in apparent response by moves by neighboring Ivory Coast to bolster its own air attack capabilities during the Ivorian Civil War. An SF-260C in France, painted in the Burkina Faso Air Force livery. Thanks for watching.